For today's video, Yusu has sent me a roll of their red TPU filament. I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to make a profile for the Aquila and the Ender 3, then share it with you guys in the description so that you guys can also print flexible TPU materials because they're a lot of fun to print. All right, let's get started. Before we get started, you're going to need to print one part. You're going to need an, a new extruder for these printers that's going to bridge the gap between your uh, PTFE tubing and your gears, and it will uh, stop flexible filaments from trying to escape uh, there and make things a lot easier to print. Uh, check the description for the link to my Thingiverse. Um, that, that block and lever setup also, also uh, fixes a bunch of other issues on these printers. So it's definitely a worthwhile upgrade to the Aquila for the Aquila and the Ender 3. Go ahead and check that out. But basically what I want to do is I'm going to load up the filament. I'm going to make the profile. I'm going to do a couple test prints and I'll share the results with you guys so that you can get on to printing TPU as well. All right, let's get going. All right, everybody, so here's the print. I honestly thought it was gonna take a lot more effort uh, to make a profile, but it pretty much worked with uh, very similar settings to PLA. Um, even the retraction seemed to be pretty good. Now, this isn't a very elaborate print, um, so this is just the first one. One thing note to note is this TPU is extremely flexible. It's way more flexible than other TPUs that I've used in the past. It actually is too flexible to be a carabiner like this, um, which is really cool. Um, it seems to be really durable. This is only a, uh, you know, it has four walls um, and 10% infill, and this is super, super flexible stuff. Um, so there's gonna be a lot of really neat uses for this. Um, yeah, useless, a little useless carabiner, but I mean, look at the layer lines here. I'm printing at a 0.28 um, layer height here. Uh, let me see if I can focus it a little better on this. There we go. I mean, that's uh, that's a really, really great TPU print for 50 uh, millimeters per second. It's It's phenomenal. All right, let's try another print. Right, it's done let's see yeah pretty soft let's see how easy it is to come off okay wow guys I was really excited about a profile that I was gonna make but all I've done was change the temperature to 215 and change the brim to uh, to a uh, whoops my LED light fell there uh, change the brim to a um, skirt um, just because brims are a little bit harder to take off look at these layer lines and this TPU let's talk about the TPU guys it's uh, honestly softer than I expected um, I have three other TPUs and this one is a tad softer than the uh, than the rest um, the color is nice and vivid uh, there's no stringing in the middle here Although I suspect that if this was a more complicated print with more retractions, I'm definitely going to have to tweak um, the profile a little more. Uh, but man, this stuff is great. Uh, it's very easy to recommend a product when it works this well. Um, highly recommend you guys check out this TPU. Highly recommend you guys check out this printer. Um, they apparently work really well together. So yeah let's let's jump to the conclusion all right everybody as you saw there i was literally speechless 
um, at the quality of uh, the print from the TPU and from the Aquila. Um, I mean, I, I just can't get over um, how well uh, this thing printed. Um, you know, the longer I stare at it, the more mesmerizing it is. Uh, just the fact that this is, you know, a soft piece of rubber um, that, that came off <laughs> of an extremely inexpensive printer. It's really phenomenal. And honestly, all this took, um, all this really took is the extruder block um, that you need to print. And you too can buy this TPU and print to this level. Uh, there's lots of colors to choose from. And uh, yeah, you know, Yusu, thank you for sending me this. Uh, it's really an eye opener to your products. And uh, I was a believer in your silk, um, you know, PLAs before and your PLA plus, but now your TPU, you guys have an awesome lineup. And I, I truly mean that. Um, all right, everybody, thank you for watching. If you think this is useful, uh, send a link to somebody. If you like, they give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions or recommendations, you know, drop them in the comments below. I love talking to you guys, answering your questions. Um, and like I said, no need for a profile. Uh, use my um, PLA profile, turn the temperature up to 215 on the hot end. Um, and uh, I have removed the brim because this sticks really well to the glass. Um, and that's it. Those are the only modifications I made to print this. I'm going to keep doing more tests. Uh, I'll print some more on my Instagram if you follow me there. Uh, so play around with those settings and uh, it looks like it's a press of a button. Um, load file, push print, receive print. Really amazing stuff, guys. See you in the next video. Bye.